A quiet revolution is unfolding in India's space sector. What was once a fully government-controlled arena is now witnessing the growth of a new generation of space startups racing to build their own satellites, rockets and the technology to lift India's space dreams. Now, if you remember, in 2022, Hyderabad-based startup Skyroot Aerospace became the first startup in the country to test launch its privately designed rocket Vikram S from ISRO's launch pad at Sri Harikota. Although it was a suborbital flight, Vikram S became India's first privately built rocket to have lifted off from Sri Harikota. Now, three years later, the startup is ready with its first orbital rocket, Vikram 1, which was unveiled by the Prime Minister Narendra Modi today by video conferencing. The rocket is designed to meet the growing on-demand for ro rapid deployment of small satellites in space. Now, the PM also unveiled its Infinity Campus, a state-of-the-art facility for designing, developing and testing multiple launch vehicles. Now, as the PM recalled uh, on the occasion that India's space journey began with extremely limited resources, but its aspirations were lim never limited. He said, and I quote, There was a time when the rocket parts were transported on a bicycle. And today, India has earned its place as a creator of one of the world's most reliable launch vehicles. Now, Skyroot was in fact among the first startups in India to register with InSpace. When the government opened the doors of the space sector for private entities for the first time in the year 2020. Before this, the space sector was largely closed with ISRO as a solo player. So what began as a small circle of space enthusiasts has now rapidly transformed into a nationwide launch pad. India now has over 300 homegrown startups now powering India's new space rush. Over the last five years, we have seen two suborbital test flights already. Soon after Skyroot, another startup, that is uh, Chennai-based Agnikul Cosmos, successfully carried out the suborbital launch of its indigenously built rocket Agniban in the year 2024. The rocket was launched from Sriharikota's first private launch pad, Dhanush, which the team had designed and developed. It was also powered by one of the country's first 3D-printed semi-cryogenic engines that the Agnikul team had indigenously manufactured and patented. Apart from a launch vehicle, startups are also launching their privately built satellites into orbit. InSpace also recently announced the selection of Pixel Space, that is India-led consortium, comprising of Peersight Space, SatSure Analytics India and Dhruva Space to design, build and operate India's first fully indigenous commercial Earth observation satellite under the powering PPP model. The target is to launch a constellation of Earth observation satellites, as many as 12, equipped with panchromatic, multispectral and hyperspectral SAR sensors. India's space economy currently stands at around $8.4 billion. However, its share in the global space economy stands at just 2%, despite being among the top five spacefaring nations in the world. Now, the vision is to take this to $44 billion by 2033, making it 7 to 8% of the global space economy. Well, clearly, with the recent policy reforms, India's space startups are also working steadily to make India into one of the most competitive private space hubs in the near future. fighting so long and so hard that they don't know what the f they're doing. <laughs>